Hello friends and fellow assholes, Jay here. Sean here. And today we're talking about the new Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Will Ferrell uh, movie called Downhill. So Sean, we just saw Downhill. Yes, we did. What did you think? Well, as you know, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're leading with that. Totally honest reviews here, guys. As I know. Because he was like, not just like catching a little... No, he was slack-jawed, breathing heavily. I won't call it a snore, because I might have elbowed you if it was a full-out <laughs> snore. But you were you were having a sleep, not just a nap. I was. Yeah. I was having a sleep. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is one of the few times when... It would be nice if a bad movie was slightly longer, so I could have gotten <laughs> a little bit longer of a good sleep. But, uh -huh. And the thing is, I wasn't even tired <laughs> going That's into true. it. That's true, yeah. Uh. So that, I guess, is my review in a nutshell, mm -hmm. is I fell asleep. Okay. So a quick summary of the film, um, because... I haven't seen a lot of marketing for this film, so I don't know if it's really out there or not. Really, the only thing I saw was um, they both presented an award at the Oscars. That's right. So that was the only time we really, like, I'd really, I hadn't seen a trailer for it at the movies. I haven't seen a lot of commercials, though we don't watch a lot of TV, so that's not surprising. But anyways, it's a movie about um, an American family who has a ski vacation in the Alps. And there's um, a controlled avalanche, I guess. Uh, that f doesn't really feel controlled. It, there's a huge wall of snow f coming down the mountain directly towards them and a whole restaurant full of people, all of which begin to panic because everybody thinks we're about to die. And then a big like cloud of powder covers them all and uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus like gathers her two sons in her arms like this is it, we're about to just suck, like this is it, our crushing death. Um, but it it doesn't. Everyone's okay. The snow stops where it should, and it looks worse than it is. Um, but when the sort of air clears and we get a clear visual, we see that Will Ferrell, the father, has run for his life and abandoned his family at the table. Yeah, really just every man for himself. Well, just that man for himself. That man for himself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So that's the premise of the movie. And then, you know, they have to spend the rest of their vacation together. Um, she is kind of seething in anger in silence um, for a good... In fact, the only time she likes to bring it up is when they're in public. <laughs> she only likes to confront him in front of people. So it's so, so awkward. Every time <laughs> it happens, you just want to die. Like you're dying inside or sleeping. Whatever. We all have different coping mechanisms. Sean is a sleeper. In times of stress, he will just go to bed and like ride it out <laughs> unconscious. So maybe that was your reaction. Maybe your body was wondering, am I a trill? Yeah. <laughs> you were just feeling a universal husband's response to just, just to play dead. Up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so it is really awkward because their friends, like Zach Woods, plays uh, one of the his uh, Will Ferrell's colleague. He shows up with his girlfriend, and they've been having a fun and fancy free European vacation, all hashtags and happiness <laughs> on Instagram. And then Julia Louis Dreyfus just unleashes, and like you see her emotion. She is barely holding back tears as she recalls her brush with death, believing she was about to die with her children in her arms. She is shaking, she's drinking too much, and Will Ferrell, you know, is in total denial mode, you know, tells her that what she believes is true, what she experienced is not true. She gets the kids out of bed to corroborate yes. her story, <laughs> and the sad part is they do. Like, the kids yeah, are also feeling there. their own pain in this, yeah. that their father abandoned them. So it is a strain on the whole family and the whole vacation and every friend they encounter leaves changed because you do not live through that experience and not let it affect you. Yes. And still Sean fell asleep. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about why that is. Why did I fall asleep? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we've seen a better version of this movie before. We have. This is an American remake which is a synonym for an unnecessary remake 
of a really terrific Swedish film called, well, in English we call it Force Majeure, <laughs> which is a French word, but you probably know it. It's probably in your insurance form somewhere. It's basically like, oh, this was an act of God. It was one of those, like a big storm that nobody could possibly foresee. And so both parties are not responsible, basically. Yep. So in Swedish it was called uh, tourist, um, but here you can look it up as Force Majeure, and it is an excellent movie. It's much it's better. It's the same premise, but it is executed in very differently. And uh, we saw this, I think it was 2014, uh, so it's a few years old. Um, but we left the theater, we'd seen it with friends, we immediately went out to dinner, nobody could eat because we were talking the whole time. And we really, we loved all of the themes and we debated the ethics of the situation and whether this, whether this is gender stereotyping, you know, whether we expect men to be protectors or just members of our family to stick together. Like, what, what is it here? And, you know, just unpacking all of this great stuff. In the American version, Sean slept. <laughs> and that's, you know, that, that is, that is the movie reviewed in a nutshell. It really does not live up to the predecessor at all. Like it just, first of all, I think the two leads are both excellent, but they feel like they're making two different movies because she is giving raw nerves and hurt feelings and he can't really tamp down the buffoon. Like he really is just, you know, he's trying to be maybe a lesser, like not quite an SNL character, but he's trying to make this movie funny in ways it doesn't need to be funny. Yes. You know, we do need some release because the awkwardness is so high, but it shouldn't be coming from him like it does. So they don't feel like they have the same energy. They're not meeting each other in the right ways so the chemistry just feels really off yeah and because he's a buffoon um he's not a sympathetic character mm -hmm. that was much better done in the original mm -hmm. um you Good can point. take both sides of that movie mm -hmm. you can't take will ferrell's side in downhill no you know what you're really really that's a good point because part of our debating is that there was a debate where we kind of felt like, well, you know, did his instincts just kick in and maybe we can't really blame him for that? Or, you know, should his whole marriage be judged on like a split second decision? Is that kind of unfair? With Will Ferrell, we're just like, you're kind of a horrible person. And he does make a lot of other not great choices in the movie where he's kind of bullying his son and, you know, he's not. And then, of course, the repeated denials start to grate on all of us. Yep. It's well, that's just... it. It's not really different in that he leaves his family. Mm -hmm. It's what happens afterward mm -hmm. that really makes him unlikable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's not really a lot of room for debate. And yeah, like it's, it's harder to digest, really. And it's not good enough to even really want to try. Like you don't want to put in all the effort because it's clear they're not putting in very much effort. No. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> we didn't really like this movie. No. We loved Force Majeure. We yes. loved that one. Yeah, see I mean, that see one. that Please one. Please seek it out. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, you'll save money. Avoid the theater. See one that you can rent instead, and it's much, much better. Which made me really feel that Downhill was unfortunately titled, because that's exactly where <laughs> yeah. it goes. <laughs> From the heights of Force Majeure, Downhill is nothing but... <laughs> So, you know, the awkwardness continues. <laughs> so yeah, in conclusion, please don't see it. It's really not good. No, don't waste your time. No. Check out the other one, Force Majeure, mm -hmm. and uh, enjoy it. Yes, much better. Although your marriage will... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can you withstand a little bit of a rocking? Because it will go there. Like it really does poke inside the marriage and crack it wide open because it really does go down to those basic fundamental things where we kind of believe a relationship is based on mutual taking care of each other but on a basic primal level we are individuals yeah 
Yes, it's very stark. <laughs> Something that we maybe don't want to really confront. <laughs> yes. But the, that movie will make you do it. Downhill, not so much. No, no, exactly. You're just going to go home and talk about, do we really need Will Ferrell in the world? Maybe I mean, he's done. He might be done. He's just getting way too old to be the buffoon anymore. Yeah, he is. I, I mean, mean, he was else? way too old to be even like a dad of young kids. Yes. I really feel like Hollywood is skewed that way. Like they forget that in the real world, they would have grandkids. <laughs> like Julia Louis Dreyfus is older than my mom, and my mom is a grandma yeah. of an eight-year-old, yeah. etc. But like that's how it is in the real world. Somehow they have young kids. Yes. And Will Ferrell is just getting too old for this stuff. Absolutely, and he doesn't have anything else. No, that's the thing. Like he could be growing this kind of like this. He could have done well in this, but he didn't. Yeah. We didn't see that from him, and I don't know if it's because the directors were cowed by him. If he needs a stronger hand, like Adam Sandler does. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Sandler really needs to be browbeaten by a director. Yeah, that's true. And then you get a good performance. But you have to really beat the Adam Sandler out of him, and I think that's what Will Ferrell needs to. Yes. They both have like just the comedic instincts, and they forget that they're aging. <laughs> they are very much aging men. <laughs> who are, you know, well into their middle age and need to turn things around. Yes. So yes. good luck, Will Ferrell. Good luck, Adam Sandler. Yeah. <laughs> we hope it doesn't take an act of God. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone.